Here's a, here's a question. How much money do the infamous Koch brothers actually have? Have you ever stopped to think about that? Or have you, have you ever looked it up or read an article that talked about how much money it is? Well, Charles and uh, David Koch each increased their personal wealth by $9 billion last year. So they now have $34 billion apiece. Now, uh, I guess Barack Obama is a really horrible socialist and communist because that's a lot of money for them to add, right? But no, they still attack Obama for being, you know, uh, an uber leftist who wants to redistribute wealth. He's su such a, an uber redistributionist that $9 billion went into each of their bank accounts. So uh, they have another brother, by the way. Is, I think his name is Bill. Uh, he's only worth $4 billion. Ha, <laughs> pussy, pussy failure. Uh, so how did they get so ungodly wealthy? Well, uh, Daddy came up with a new method for the refinement of heavy oil into gasoline. And Daddy died in 1967, but of course, these uh, snot-nosed little punk-ass useless kids, they're entitled to every red penny that Daddy made because, uh, you know, they earned it by being a derivative of his sperm and mommy's egg. So, of course, they should, they're, naturally, they should have all of that money, right? In fact, we should give them more money. We should give them, let's uh, let them have half of the fucking country. How about that? So they each earn, get this, $1.02 million every hour. Let that soak in, let that marinate. Every 10 minutes, they earn $171,000. Every minute, they earn $17,706. If Charles spent three and a half hours on Sunday afternoon, eating chips and dip and watching a football game, he'd make $3.59 million. If he goes to take a piss for a minute and 45 seconds, he makes $29,884. Now these are the assholes buying our government and donating to conservative think tanks so that the think tanks can come up with wonky sounding arguments to rationalize not raising the minimum wage to $9 and giving people health care who need it. Man, think about how evil that is. Now, some libs might stop short of calling it that and say, oh, you know, it's a difference of opinion and yeah, they're more harsh, but you're this, da 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 da. No, I'm gonna come out and say it. That's some fucking evil shit. So an increase of $1.25 per hour on the minimum wage means a worker who puts in 2,000 hours a year would earn $2,500 more dollars, right? Well, that would take uh, David Koch roughly nine seconds to earn. <laughs> so uh, Charles made as much in one day in 2012 as 498 electricians or 614 carpenters made all year in 2012. So after reading you guys all that stuff, I want to uh, let you know, my favorite dipshit argument from the Republicans on this is whenever they say, Your capitalism is a meritocracy. Well, actually, they never say it's a meritocracy because they don't know what that word means and they've never used it. But they say, oh, the harder you work, the further you go. The harder you work, the further you go, right? All right, so uh, you tell me, Dippity, uh, is, is it really that the Koch brothers work that much harder than an electrician or a plumber or a janitor or a doorman or a teacher or a fireman or a police officer or a doctor or a physical therapist or anything? <laughs>